Okay, with this pattern we're actually start off a little different. We have the bead on, but we're going to move that back and then tie in some of our hot orange thread. And you want to be a little sparse with that head. Now we're going to take some of our skinny skin. This is from Montana Fly Company. And I usually like to make the end I'm tying in come to a point. It's easier to tie in. It's easier to transition to come around the bead when we're finishing the fly off. And then just kind of make sure that that's going to be centered. Looks good. And we just whip finish. So the head's done first. Okay, next I like to give this fly a little bit of extra weight. So I'm just going to take some lead wire and just put a little bit behind the bead for a thorax area. Okay, so something like that. And now I'm going to attach the thread right behind that and kind of pull the thread up into it and it kind of locks it in place. And tie in our tail first, which is some Coque de Leon. This is a dun color. I'm going to tie in about six fibers. Kind of measure for the tail, which is about the body length or thereabouts. The reason I'm tying everything in up here is because I want that taper to be nice. Now I'm going to grab my wire. This is just some UTC silver, small size. And again, tie that in right there at that point, right so the wire butts up against the lead and come back down and try to keep everything on top of the hook and just touching turns wrap the, th the thread down. One of the reasons I like UTC in this case is that it will lay flat and you can wrap back over it fairly nice and evenly. So I will go back to the point where I want the body to end and I'm going to grab my stretch flex and tie that in right at this tail area. And then I'm going to build up my body going forward, kind of going back over any stretch flex tag that was there. And then use your thread to build up the taper on the body. And sometimes you have to come up a couple times just to get that smooth transition and work my way into the lead like so. Now you can actually take care of the rest of the taper with the uh, stretch flex. So very tight turns the first couple of turns as we go our way up about half overlapping the previous wrap. Very tight and then as we go further up, we loosen a little bit, and that starts to help create the taper as we go up the body. Until I'm at the thorax area, and I'm going to go ahead and give one little wrap there. And maybe another one for good measure. And pull that tight, very tight, tight in right behind the bead. And then you want to come up and pull that really tightly and snip it as close as you can to give that smooth tie-off point. Okay, now we've got the body built up. We'll go ahead and take our uh, wire. And we're just going to create a nice, even segmented body ribbing with the wire. And you want to pull on that wire pretty tightly so that it sinks down into that stretch flex till up to the thorax area a couple of wraps there to secure it okay now that we've got the body built up we're gonna go ahead and hydro that with some clear cure goo hydro and this just creates a nice smooth and even body tag it with the light Now I want to make sure I'm right next to the bead here. I'm going to pull my wing case over the top 
and then just right behind the bead in that general vicinity I'm going to take a couple wraps and then whip finish Now what I like to do is come in here behind where the wing case ends and snip that off. And then I come in and give it a little bit of a V notch in the back. Probably doesn't matter that much, but it looks cool something like that. And then to kind of complete this off, I want this whole a nice good taper overall shape. I'm going to slap a little bit more hydro on here and this one's going to go right over the top including the thread that reinforce that and then over the area where I tied in the thread so that it evens that out and then I'm also going to come underneath and give it some on the underneath side so it creates a nice even taper into the body from the thorax and then just tag the whole thing here with the light And there we go, that's a nice, even transition. And it has a really good profile, and this has been really killing it in the river lately.